Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about ITC protocol, Arduino and running multiple uh, ITC board via Arduino. So let me show you first how the end result is going to be for this project then so we can have the idea what we are doing. So let me run my project and I have an Arduino here with this Arduino I have two electromagnetic 8 channel relay board which they are supporting ITC protocol as you see first of all it is controlling this and using the I2C via ITC protocol and um, ports it is going to the go second port alright so this is how our project and we are going to disassemble everything and do everything from the scratch again together let me turn off my USB power and unplug all of them. Okay, I just unplug all of them. I'm going to just leave my ground and uh, positive cable here, which is 5 volt and ground. And let me connect my ground to the ground, then <clears throat> positive to the positive. By the way, I just want to give you some information about here. What we are doing, our master is Arduino here and SDA port is going to be for slave SDA. Then same thing for the slave 2, same thing here, SCL to SCL on slave 1, then SCL to SCL on slave 2. Okay, then same thing continues on the slave three but we don't have that here we, we have only two boards okay i connected my ground and positive power then i'm going to use uh, let me see sda sda for the green cable all right so this is my sda i'm going to make this screen a little bit bigger maybe we can make this one more right like that so sda to sda then i will use my yellow cable i will use my yellow cable for the scl okay let's jump from first port scl to second port scl okay same thing for SDA okay I'm just I did this one too now it is ground time ground is also done all right so here positive also done now in order to run our application my Arduino coding has to know what is the address of this device and what is the address of this device. In order to learn their addresses, we have another sketch here. Let me make this smaller here and I'm going to make this one larger. So I'm going to make this a little bit larger here. Cool. Okay. If you check online, you can search I2C scanner Arduino sketch. You can find so many sample codes. Let me push this coding. Oh, I'm sorry. I forget to turn on my Arduino. Okay. It is checking COM3 okay so my Arduino code already pushed into the my Arduino board now as you see one of them is 23 and the other one is 27 I don't know which one is 23 and which one is 27 in order to understand that I'm just going there are many ways but I'm going to just unplug one of them on the second board now the remaining one is 23 which is 23 is this board 
Now, if I put this one back, it is going to 27 show show up again. The other method to learn, I can change this board pin here. Now it became 26. I can on the deep switch. I can change the second one also. I have three different switches here. So as you see, it is now 24. Okay, let me put all of them back. Now it, it is going to be 27 again. Cool. So this is the way we can learn the address of each I2C devices. Okay, so let's go to the R sketch, main sketch. And as you see, I have 23 already written here and 27 is already here. And I have 500 milliseconds delay between each um, release indicator. And I have a loop here. In this loop, I have my first board, which is this. And I have my second board, which is this. On the first one, it is in this block, it is turning on all of them. And in this block, it is turned on turning off all of them and same thing is happening for the relay relay to relay to means this board okay so let's push this this one again okay I'm going to make this one a little bit this screen a little bit larger I'm going to upload my sketch to the my board or the new board almost done yes as you see first one is now turn off now second one is turning on all the indicators then turning off all the indicators back so what we did is here using Arduino and ITC protocol we're run 16 electromagnetic relays this can be 24 32 32 48 56 with this board boards up to 64 64 because we have our deep switch is allowing only three boards here we have three options which is uh, i mean eight boards it is allowing us to control eight boards with these three switches i'm not going to go to the all details again i'm just going going to give you the basic idea okay so i hope this video helps you and please ask me if you have any question thank you